Okay, good day again. Here we are back in our home state of Tasmania. And uh, yeah, I've taken my two boys up uh, their first ever time camping in the bush. We have been camping at Caribbean Park and uh, yeah, I thought we had three small tents but we didn't we only had two so we've had to take the big tent and yeah, make a spot for it and still driving the Commodore which I wanted to actually give away by now but anyway hopefully next week we'll have me feeling back and uh, yeah this is a sp spot we found when we were just out exploring fire trails and uh, yeah. there's a little entry track and you can probably just make out the main trail down at the bottom there. And, uh, yeah, we've been here a few times during the day and had barbecues. And this is our old barbecue spot. But, yeah, we actually came in here today and cleared some of the ferns away. Well, we had to for a tent site. And, uh, yeah, cleared it and made a better fire spot and, uh, yeah we haven't rocked around it yet which we'll do tomorrow but we didn't really know the rocks there's no wind um, so. but yeah if you build your rocks up around the fire then you can con concentrate the heat a bit more into your barbecue plate and, uh, speaking of barbecue plates this is Actually, one that I bought, and it's, yeah, it's actually made for a gas barbecue, but yeah, works good. And uh, yeah, I made this frame out of a bit of Rio and an old bit of fence. And, uh, yeah, that's what we cook on. We've got a kettle and our saucepan and a fry pan and our tray that we cook on as well. And, uh, yeah, we've just finished having dinner. Having a little bit of a problem. We've got a few sand flies are buzzing around and we've had a few wasps trying to eat our meat. And uh, yeah. Say hello, this is Isaac and Aaron. Isaac's waving. Say hello, Aaron. <laughs> Aaron doesn't like me videoing him. Anyway, you get that. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, these are our bikes. And, uh, yeah. It's Isaac's bike on the end, there's Aaron's bike, which is probably good, too good to be taken out here on fire trails. So I think I'll go looking around for another small mountain bike. This, this is my one, I brought, brought that home from the rubbish tip. And, uh, actually, the seat's not on at the moment. I had to make that bar up so I could get it onto the bike rack. So obviously, I'll put the seat back on it before I ride it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah I think I'll go look around for another one because yeah, Aaron's bike's worth twelve hundred dollars. It shouldn't really be out here getting dirty on the trails, and and it's a bit too big for the bar anyway. We had to take the front wheel off because it was nearly touching the ground. So, yeah. This is the. The carry bar I made, I, I bought, yeah, fifty dollars from a lady just down the road from me, and uh, yeah, I went to mount it on, and of course you got to undo the tow bar, tow ball, and I had a meter and a half long bar on that, trying to undo it, and I couldn't. Uh, I had to, uh, yeah, take the whole tow tongue off and stick it in the fire for a while at home. Get some heat on it so I can get it undone. Yeah. But yeah, it's quite a pleasant spot. We're about mm, probably 5k into the bush. And, uh, no phone reception here, but yeah, if I walk up the top of this, you can't really see the elevation in the video, but there, there's a, uh, there's a little bit of a track that goes up to the top. 
Uh, it's only oh, 100 metres to the top. So I checked up there when we got here, yeah, just in case we had an accident or something, in case I need to call somebody. And I've got phone reception up the top there. So I'll go and ring my lovely wife, Dawn, who will probably be wondering how we're doing so, yeah, very shortly. But, uh, yeah, we've got probably less than an hour's light now, so before I do that, I need to finish tying the fly down on the tent. Not that I think it's going to rain, but if I don't tie it down, it will definitely rain. That's how things go. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is, uh, yeah, I try to get away as often as I can. This is a break from watching television and playing games for the boys and uh, a break from watching YouTube for me. I don't watch television anymore, but I do watch YouTube videos every night out in my shed. Yeah. But yeah, it's a good break and a pleasant place to be. So, and something I'll advise to anybody who's watching if you're feeling under stress. Get out in the forest. It's yeah. There's just something about it that's peace and quiet, and probably because we haven't got any phone signal here, which either, which means we don't have frequencies interfering with us. But yeah, it's as anybody who knows it goes bush. It's great stress relief. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching.